Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and today I'm doing your weekly readings for the week of August 24th, 2015. This reading is for Cancer. Uh, before I start, please let me say thank you for all the support you're giving me with your likes and shares and subscriptions and all your great comments. Thank you to those of you who've had private readings with me. I appreciate the opportunity you gave me to provide some insight. Um, please bear in mind that these are general readings and so they may not apply to all of you and if you'd like a private reading please email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information you need to schedule a reading okay so cancer on Monday you have the king of pentacles with il vedovo So, for some of you, you have to spend some money on Monday. You lose some money, basically, on Monday for some of you. For others, um, an opportunity you may have missed in the past is coming back and now you can invest in it and it will bring you um, prosperity and stability and um, security um, so again for some of you um, it's some bad news about money it's maybe you have to spend some money that you weren't expecting to have to spend um, for others you could be dealing with an earth sign on Monday with a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and um, they're giving you some bad news For those of you, you are seeking the advice of this earth sign person on Monday about an opportunity you may have missed in the past. You're seeking advice to see what you can salvage, what you can fix. Or you're seeking advice to see uh, where you should invest next. And like I said, for some of you, an opportunity from your past is coming back to you for you to invest in it this time around. On Tuesday, you have the Knight of Swords with La Donna di Servizio. So on Tuesday, there's a lot of quick, sudden changes happening for you. On Tuesday, this could be you just um, charging in, just throwing caution to the wind, taking a chance, taking a risk, just um, putting your head down and charging through. Whereas you um, stuck to a plan before, now you are throwing that plan out the window and you're just doing something. You are doing rather than thinking or you're doing rather than planning for others this is um travel swift sudden unexpected travel um this is quick progress happening for you in whatever area of your life it could be work it could be love it could be um your projects this is quick movement quick action sudden progress For others, this is um, someone coming in. This is, it could be an air sign coming into your life, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, they could be sweeping, uh, sweeping you off your feet. And for others, this is a friend or a family member coming to your aid very, very swiftly on Tuesday. On Wednesday, you have the Three of Swords 
with la conversazione. Okay, so for some of you, you're gonna hear some news on Wednesday that's going to break your heart. Um, you'll receive some news that will make you feel um, hurt and betrayed. For others, this is sorrow and regret for you not following your heart on Wednesday. Brothers, this is news of a separation that you receive on Wednesday. It's just a day where you feel um, sad or you feel like you didn't do everything you could have done. It's a shoulda, woulda, coulda kind of day on Wednesday for some of you. On Thursday, you have the hanged man with Bambino. So on Thursday, there is something new coming in. You get a new idea. You get a new inspiration. For some of you, this is a new job or a new project offered to you. Um, and for some, this is happening, this is coming in from a direction you didn't see as an option. So it's a surprise. Um, new beginning. For others, this is you having a new attitude towards yourself, towards your life, towards your work, towards your love life. This is you deciding to change, you seeing the light, um, you seeing um, the mistakes you've made before and now uh, making a conscious change not to do that again. And it is you having a completely new vision, a new perspective. On Friday, you have the magician with Dona Maritata. So on Friday, you're sticking with it. You are looking at everything you have. You're looking at um, good and bad. You are getting rid of the bad. You are um, working with the good, trying to bring more good to your life. You are using your resources, using your um, support, the support you have, the resources you have already to bring in whatever you want to manifest in your life, to bring in a um, relationship, to bring in um, a project, a job, more money. You are taking charge of your life and of the way you think and of the way you act. You are in control of yourself and you are really going for whatever it is you want to manifest in your life. The time for procrastinating is over. The time for um, you being passive is over. You are making a change and you are taking action to create and to manifest what you wish to have in your life as opposed to waiting waiting for it to come in. You are taking charge, you are taking control, you are starting the conversations that need to be had, you are starting um, actions, you're making actions, you are causing things to happen and that is what changes everything and gets things moving in the direction you want them to go. So it's a very powerful day for you on Friday. On Saturday you have judgment with messaggere.
So you've got three major arcana cards, one after the other. So there's definitely a change happening for you at the middle, in the middle of the week, towards the end of the week. There's definitely a change. There's definitely an aha moment, enlightenment coming to you, a new vision coming to you, and you are um, sticking with it. You are making the decisions. You are taking charge. Um, judgment is about reviving, healing. It's about going back to a situation in your past and healing it and making it better. It's about bringing new life, new um, ideas, fresh air within um, a situation, whether it's in your work or it's in your love life, you are looking at it and making the judgment of um, taking ownership, if you will, of your own mistakes that led to um, that situation being what it is today. And you are making amends. You are um, fixing it, you're trying to fix it, you're trying to revive it. So you could be sending messages, trying to fix a situation in your life, trying to revive it, trying to make it better, trying to um, get a second chance. For others, this is news you receive about a second chance for you. This is a judgment being made and if you've been putting in the work, if you are genuine and if you truly want to make it better, then the judgment will be in your favor and you will get your second chance and you will um, get the chance to make things better and to improve that situation, to heal it and move it forwards. If you haven't, if you've been flaky or just not really focused on it, then you receive news that that's it, it's done, you're not getting your second chance. And in work, if you've been putting in the work, you're getting a promotion. If you've not been so focused on work your bosses have seen that and now they're bringing it to your attention and so if you ask for more money or, or promotion they are telling you no and this is why okay on sunday you have the seven of cups with la lettera So, for those of you who are getting a second chance, you receive news that you are getting a second chance and now you are planning, you are thinking about the situation, you're thinking about what you can do differently, what you did before, you, what you want to do now, you're thinking about all the options you have, you're thinking about what you can do to um, stick with it and to bring um, happiness to you and to that situation. For others this is news coming in and it's overwhelming you because it's really good news and you weren't expecting to have these many options to choose from. And for others, you receive news and it just makes you daydream of the possibilities. But it's definitely news of things coming in, news of options you have, news of um, things to choose from to um, attract happiness to yourself in whatever area of your life 
um, you're focused on this time of the week of August 24th. Your spiritual advice, you have nine of Ariel and it says your dreams are fulfilled, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. Okay, so again, if you've been putting in the work, if you have learned your lessons and if you are genuinely determined to make this change in your life, then your dreams are coming true. You are being rewarded for that. The first step of that is you getting your second chance. And then if you stick with the change, it will only bring more happiness in. Um, for others, this is again, news of your financial uh, situation getting better. News of you receiving rewards for all your hard work. So it could be, again, money coming in, bonuses, promotions, uh, new job offers. Your hard work is paying off and you are being very proud of your accomplishments. And um, you are celebrating your accomplishments and everything you've gained this far and looking at how to bring in even more for yourself, more happiness, more stability, more security, more love. Your love and relationship advice, you have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So if you're single, um, the card is telling you to go out and mingle, go out, have fun, and you could be meeting someone. Um, go out with your friends, um, get yourself in social situations. Don't take yourself so seriously and just have fun. Let your guard down and just have fun and you could be meeting someone. Um, for those of you that are coupled or that you um, are dating or have a special someone in your life, the card is again telling you to um, bring some fresh air into the relationship. Same as the judgment is telling you bring newness bring bring it um take it back to the beginning when it's all all fun and all about talking and doing things together and enjoying your time together they're saying that to get back to having a happy relationship and to bring passion back into your relationship you need to bring fun back and that will facilitate the passion coming back. So do fun things with your partner this week. Um, have a playful attitude, a fun attitude. And you should have a really good week in love and your, your relationships. Okay, Cancer, so that is what I see for you for the week of August 24th, 2015. Um, please like, share, subscribe and comment. Let me know how the cards play out for you specifically. Um, thank you again for all your support and thank you for being here with me. I hope you've enjoyed the reading and I hope you have a good week. And I will see you again next week. Take care.